so uh, in this lecture we will move on to uh, another water decontamination technologies uh, it is known as uh, water softening it is another uh, decontamination technologies which is used for the removal of hardness of water so we will see what is this water softening and what are the methods used for softening a particular hard water water softening is the process of removal of calcium and magnesium and certain other metal cations in hard water you all know that hardness of water is caused by the salts of calcium and magnesium it may be bicarbonates sulfates chlorides etc many salts are there so all these salts are the reasons by which water is uh, hard okay for removing the hardness of water we have to remove the salts of this calcium and magnesium so this is the purpose of water softening and the main uh, reason for removing this hardness is why we have to remove this hardness is the hard water does not form any lather in soap so uh, a lot of wastage of soap soap will occur when we are using this uh, hard water that is the important thing and uh, if the water is softened then the water uh, can uh, use only less amount of soap okay so why why to do this water softening so actually uh, i have already said you that soap consumption will be higher when the water is hard so soap is uh, basically sodium palmitate when it reacts with water this is the case of a normal water or soft water okay when this soap reacts with the water it will form sodium hydroxide and palmitic acid okay this palmitic acid again reacts with the soap okay sodium palmitate and water to form lather this is a process occurring in a normal water but when the water contains some hardness or presence of some uh, salts of calcium and magnesium then what will happen is this sodium palmitate which is soap uh, combines with this hard water which contains calcium and magnesium and it will reversibly give a product known as calcium or magnesium palmitate okay so this is insoluble in water and this forms the uh, precipitate which does not form any lather in water okay so this is the reason why we need softening we have to remove this compounds we have to remove the hardness from this water so this is the reason why we are doing softening and there are two types of hardness we already knows this uh, there are temporary there is temporary hardness as well as permanent permanent hardness temporary hardness is mainly caused by the bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium and uh, this type of hardness can be removed by boiling or by adding lime okay uh, either of the process can be uh, done uh, by, uh, by boiling what will happen is if it is calcium uh, bicarbonate is present in water then it will uh, if it is heated it will be dissociated into calcium carbonate water and uh, carbon dioxide where calcium carbonate is uh, insoluble in water which can be removed by sedimentation so this hardness is removed in case uh, if you are adding lime we can either boil or add lime okay if calcium bicarbonate is present as the hardness uh, causing agent then if you are adding lime lime is calcium hydroxide uh, then again calcium carbonate is formed plus water is formed so this calcium carbonate is again uh, removed by sedimentation and uh, magnesium salts are also there in water uh, which is hard so uh, magnesium bicarbonate it also uh, reacts with this lime to form calcium carbonate magnesium carbonate and 2h2o this calcium carbonate as well as magnesium carbonate can be removed by sedimentation so this is how we can remove hardness of temporary hardened hardened water okay now uh, how to remove this permanent hardness this permanent hardness is caused mainly due to the presence of chlorides and sulfates of calcium and magnesium this cannot be easily removed by boiling or by addition of lime so there are many processes for removing this permanent hardness we will see each of them there are mainly four processes first one is lime soda process second thing is zeolite zeolite process demineralization process and reverse osmosis are the major types of processes which is removed which is used for removing the permanent hardness of water first we will see what is this lime soda process earlier we have discussed that we can remove this temporary hardness by means of adding lime to water okay but for removing permanent hardness uh, only lime cannot do anything okay lime along with soda ash if we are uh, giving into the hard water it can remove the hardness of water uh, permanent hardness of water so lime plus soda ash is added to water for removing the permanent hardness so that is a process while adding this lime and soda ash what will happen is the calcium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide are formed 
by the addition of these two calcium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide will be formed as precipitates and this can be sedimented out so the hardness of the water is removed so carbonate hardness is removed by lime as well and uh, non carbonate hardness is removed by the soda okay so this is a process occurring we'll see the equations for that so uh, how this lime and uh, soda ash uh, can remove the hardness of water so uh, some uh, important compounds or some important chemicals available in the water which can cause hardness can be removed by this lime and soda ash addition of this lime and soda ash so we'll see each of them this lime when added to water will react with the carbon dioxide to form see calcium hydroxide is lime lime reacts with the carbon dioxide to form calcium carbonate okay calcium carbonate is again a precipitate which can be precipitated out by means of sedimentation tanks so uh, this is how it reacts with carbon dioxide so for removing temporary hardness also we can use this process mm, as we have discussed earlier temporary hardness is caused by bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium this calcium and magnesium bicarbonates reacts with this lime to form calcium carbonate which is again a precipitate as well as magnesium carbonate it is also a precipitate so the temporary hardness of water is removed and how can we remove the permanent hardness by means of this process we will see that permanent hardness is caused by the sulfates as well as chlorides of magnesium and calcium so first we will see the reaction of sulfates of magnesium and uh, calcium uh, with lime okay lime and soda ash the magnesium sulfate in water reacts with the lime to form magnesium hydroxide okay and calcium sulfate this calcium sulfate is insoluble in water okay so this calcium sulfate again it reacts with the soda ash it is sodium carbonate soda ash is sodium carbonate so it reacts with the soda ash to form calcium carbonate which is again insoluble in water so these uh, products are insoluble in water and which can be removed by sedimentation so this is how the sulfates is removed from water hardness is removed now if chlorides are present then it can react with the lime to form magnesium hydroxide as well as calcium hydroxide which can be easily removed okay uh when it is reacted with this uh, soda ash it can produce magnesium carbonate as well as calcium carbonate this can also be precipitated out so this is how the reaction occurs with sulfates and chlorides of calcium and magnesium in water now uh, there are many equipments required for this process uh, first one is feeding and mixing apparatus which is used for mixing this soda ash and lime we have two products lime and soda ash both have to be mixed before adding to water so there is a feeding and mixing apparatus is there and there is a settling tank we have to settle out the sediments which was formed after the uh, reactions so we have to settle out the sediments for that a settling tank is there recarbonation plant recarbonation plant is for providing carbon dioxide into that final water uh, for removing the Uh, excess carbonates from the water okay so this, this is for recarbonation plant finally filters are there for filtering out all the sediments so these are the important uh, equipments required for the lime soda process uh, that are discussed here and the methods there are many methods adopted for this uh, lime soda process addition of aluminum compounds is there excess lime treatment is there recarbonation plant is there split method is there sludge blanket treatments are there these are some uh, other methods which are used uh, along with this lime soda process so first one is addition of aluminum compounds so when this aluminum compounds are added with lime as well as soda lime and soda we are adding already so along with that if we are adding some aluminum compounds it can coagulate even finely divided particles okay and converts all the magnesium salts into insoluble magnesium aluminate so it can completely remove the hardness of water by adding aluminum compounds excess lime treatment is the second method when we are adding excess lime Uh, the excess lime can remove the uh, uh, total hardness of water and it will soften the water that is the second case third one is recarbonation after uh, adding this lime and soda we will add some carbon dioxide for uh, uh, getting mineralized water so this can also remove the hardness uh, to a great uh, manner and uh, the final uh, another method is split method split method means we are Mm, taking as some amount of raw water and we are giving excess treatment for that particular water if we have 1000 liter of water we'll take uh, 50 liter of water and we will give excess treatment we'll add excess lime plus soda okay into that water 
so excess treatment is uh, done for that water now this water is added to the raw water the remaining water which is not uh, good okay which is which was had okay we'll add this good water or softened water to that hard water now what will happen the remaining hard water will also get um, softened because of the excess lime and soda present in this raw water so this is how we will do the split method and the final one is sludge blanket filtration in this what we are doing is uh, after the addition of lime and soda we will have some sludge at the bottom some sludges will be settled and the remaining water will be sediment or uh, it is filtered through the sludge okay so what will happen this sludge can again uh, remove the hardness of water the remaining water so this is the sludge blanket method so these are the some of the methods which can be adopted along with this lime soda process for removing completely removing the permanent hardness of water okay so this is all about lime soda process now i'll see the second method it is zeolite process zeolite is nothing but it is a crystalline solid structure made of silicon aluminum and oxygen that form a framework with cavities and channels inside where cations water or small molecules may reside there is a crystalline structure which is made up of silicon aluminum and oxygen which have some pores in it which can uh, occupy cations water or small molecules which which can act as a filter okay so what we are doing in this method is we will pass the hard water through the zeolite bed there is a zeolite bed okay uh, it is a filtering material actually zeolite is actually uh, we can uh, say it as a filtering material so we'll form a bed with the zeolite and we'll pass this hard water through the zeolite okay then what will happen is calcium and magnesium ions are retained on this zeolite bed okay and uh, they react with the zeolite from calcium zeolite and magnesium zeolite which can be easily removed by sedimentation okay so uh, this is a process occurring while we are doing this zeolite process the reaction occurring here is there is a bed of sodium zeolite actually the bed is formed by sodium zeolite it acts with for temporary hardness what it is doing is calcium or magnesium bicarbonates will be there in water when it is passing through the zeolite bed it will form calcium zeolite as well as magnesium zeolite which are insoluble in water which will which will be deposited or retained about the about the zeolite so this is how temporary hardness is removed now in case of permanent hardness it is caused by chlorides and sulfates of calcium and magnesium what will happen here is uh, there is a bed of sodium zeolite is there when this water having calcium chloride or magnesium sulfate passes through this it will form calcium and magnesium zeolites which is again insoluble in water and forms a precipitate over the zeolite bed and we can get, we have, will get soft water as a filtrate okay now uh, uh, there is an uh, uh, advantage in this process we can regenerate the zeolite bed okay after uh, softening all the water we can regenerate the zeolite bed we can reuse the uh, sediments okay how we can reuse that the final product you will get is calcium zeolite and magnesium zeolite this when we are adding brine solution or sodium chloride 10 percentage brine solution to this it will again produce the zeolite bed or regenerated zeolite will be produced the remaining can be washed out so this is how we can regenerate the zeolite bed after softening of uh, one set of water so this is about zeolite process so this is a figure showing the zeolite process uh, here uh, this is the container in which we are providing the hard water in uh, spray as a spray so it is sprayed here and uh, this is a zeolite bed along with this uh, water is uh, moved down it is again moved through the gravel uh, here uh, uh, the softened water will be collected and for regenerating it what we will do is we will provide nacl solution to this and after that what will happen um, this uh, nacl solution will react with this sediments available here to form the zeolite bed again so this is the process occurring here now we will move on to the third process it is the demineralization process in this what we are doing is we will remove uh, all the minerals from water either completely or partially we will remove the uh, mineral content from the water so that the hardness of water is removed okay here what we are doing is we will pass the water through a bed of cation cation exchange resin as well as anion exchange resin you all know that there are sulfates chlorides uh, 
magnesium calcium etc these all are the compounds or ions which can cause hardness to water so we are removing all these ions by means of this cation and anion exchange process okay so water is passed through a bed of cation exchange resin first where the cations are removed and then it is passed to the anion exchange resin where the anions are, uh, cations are removed so this is the process occurring here and uh, this is the uh, flow chart uh, or uh, this is the figure showing the demineralization process water is allowed to pass through cation exchange bed where uh, cation free water is uh, derived here and it is then allowed to pass through the anion exchange bed where the demineralized water or neutral ph water is formed so uh, when uh, it was uh, here the water was hard after going through all this process it will become soft water and the process occurring in demineralization or reactions occurring in this uh, process are bicarbonates when reacts with the resin forms calcium uh, resin uh, chlorides and sulfates also when reacting with the resin will form calcium and magnesium resin uh, so these are the processes occurring here this uh, resins can be removed easily by sedimentation the final process is reverse osmosis process so reverse osmosis you all know what the process is that process can also be used for removing the hardness of water so it is also a softening method water softening method it is otherwise known as hyperfiltration so you all know what is it works on the principle of diffusion actually diffusion means movement of molecules from a region of higher concentration to lower concentration movement of molecules from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration so osmosis is actually what it means is the diffusion through a semi permeable membrane is known as osmosis diffusion through a semi permeable membrane is known as osmosis okay now reverse osmosis what is it, what does it mean it is a reverse process of osmosis here what we have told is we are uh, the movement of molecules from region of higher to con lower concentration occurs here what we are doing is we are moving the water from a lower concentration to the higher concentration we are not moving the solute molecules we are just moving we are just making the water to move from lower concentration to higher concentration by the application of a pressure known as osmotic pressure at the lower concentration okay so this is the process of reverse osmosis in reverse osmosis also what uh, we can uh, remove all the particles like uh, salts of calcium and magnesium thereby we can uh, remove the hardness of water so uh, we will get the soft water as the by product so this is how we can remove uh, we can uh, do the softening of water so these are the different processes by which we can soften the water thank you